G'day, Paul here. <laughs> Paul here with the business of art, where creativity and commerce come together. Today we are out letterbox dropping for our upcoming event. Um, this is Yo. Hi. If you haven't met Yo before, Yo is a buddy of mine. She and I've worked together on a number of projects. Yo has joined my company, Small Crown Productions, as a producer to uh, basically allow me the opportunity to focus on writing and directing and not have to also think about producing the show. So. The reason I'm standing like this <laughs> is because I have my lapel mic connected to my wedding ring. <laughs> it's super important to have something to anchor it to. Um, it's just very breezy here and we just found that the wind was just... I, I don't have a really great cover for my Zoom H1 which is what I generally use for audio. And so this was just a way to try and get better audio and shield the microphone a little bit so I feel a bit weird but... Look, you've got to work with what you've got, right? 100%. So I think that's the thing, is it's it's more important for me to make the content and get this information out and really kind of help somebody else rather than feel like I can't do it because I look like an idiot. <laughs> but I look like an idiot. <laughs> so anyway, today I really wanted to just touch on something that's been really at the core of my heart for a very long time and that's that sense of outwork failure. That idea for me is something that has just been super strong in my psyche for a very long time and that now that I've come to the point where I'm really focusing on building out the creative business and turning my creativity into something that generates an income for me, there's a lot of trials and tribulations along the way, there's a lot of struggles along the way, there's a lot of hardship along the way, not everything works. In fact, more stuff doesn't work than does work when we're starting out. And let's hope this works. <laughs> Here's a great example. Um, but you know, we're out letterbox dropping today because we wanted to outwork failure. We set out to produce a show this year and that didn't work. Like an entire show didn't work. We got to the great design, that's all happening. We've got this massive, massive idea and strategy around what we're doing to create a sense of theatre events, not just a theatre show, that we want it to really serve the community that we've chosen to serve. And, and we just thought we had enough time and we were wrong. We didn't have enough time, did we? we Turns out not. Yeah. yeah. We ran a whole bunch of Facebook ads to drive traffic to the website, to the Facebook event, and we just didn't get any traction. We ran a free giveaway of a gift card, and that grew the email list a little bit, but nowhere near enough to make it viable for us to actually do the full production, make our money back so that we had that to reinvest into the next yeah. show. Because we're bootstrapping this. We literally are building this with our own cash from zero. It's 100% risk. and. It's important that we make smart decisions, not just art decisions. Exactly. Which is in the past what I had done. I just made art decisions. I'd produced the show, I didn't think about anything, but it's super important that if we're gonna make a career out of this, that we make smart decisions and not just art decisions. And, and that has just been super key. And it was a tough call to postpone the show. We're gonna produce it next year. We've given ourselves another essentially nine months to focus on brand building so that we can get out and just get known. And so instead of doing the full event that we were looking to do in September, we decided we still wanted to deliver something to our audience. That idea of not having something to deliver was heartbreaking because we were so committed to that. Yeah. I think we all felt that. Yeah. But we knew that if we went ahead with the full idea, we were gonna break ourselves, both from a time perspective on getting it done, mm -hmm. and also from a money perspective of not being able to really recoup the expenses. And individually, like on a mental and physical level, like it was just too big for us huge. to be able to get everything yeah. done, you know? And, and rather than risking burning someone out or burning all of us out, you know, it's better that we take a step back and reassess. Yeah, 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 spot on. And so that was the decision that we made. And you know, that idea that we're still, I'm still running Facebook ads and it's getting a little bit of traffic, but it's still nowhere near enough. And so we decided that, you know, we'd left ourselves short on time to do, to pay somebody like, you know, distribution or the post office to do bulk mail outs and that kind of stuff. 
because there was just a whole lot of stuff that went wrong that just pushed our timeline out further and further and further. And it's great because we've learned from that. It didn't cost us any real kind of major loss on, on, on money, which is excellent. So we were able to curb that financial loss, but what we did lose is a lot of time. And so now in order to outwork failure, in order to make sure that we get this done and we get an audience there next time, we knew we had to come out and hit the pavement and do the work. And that's what it's about. There are no real shortcuts. I mean, you know, there's things that are commoditized and, and that's a positive way in that sense that you can buy <laughs> the service of someone div delivering leaflets and, and that kind of thing. You can run Facebook ads, but, but you've got to look at the numbers. And so I think there's, there's really, it's kind of two things I want to say today. Number one is, is put your nose to the grindstone and outwork failure. But do that with a sense of analysis, checking the numbers, checking back, and actually making sure you're seeing that the work that you're putting in is leading you in the right direction and not leading you away from where you want to go. It's really easy to do busy work, feel like you're doing work, but actually not achieving anything. Yeah. It's super important to stop, analyze, and make sure that you go in and, yeah. and check that. Something that just popped into my head is the last thing you want to do is work so hard climbing up this ladder only to realize that your ladder is up against the wrong building, you know? Great. Love that. Mm. Love I, that. I got that from somewhere. I don't know where, though. <laughs> but it's so true. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's it's just a great statement. So two real thoughts today. Um, outwork failure. Put your nose to the grindstone and make sure that you're heading in the right direction. Stop and analyse and make sure that you're putting your, your ladder up against the right building and make smart decisions, not just art decisions. If you really want to truly build an income from your creativity, you have to look at the numbers and uh, I can't stress that enough. So thanks very much. Great to see you. We'll see you in the next video.